Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, how you doing? So we all watched the game, and I got to say, the whole offense looked terrible. Defense looked good. Offense looked terrible. The shine looked terrible. The receivers looked terrible. Play calling, it was terrible, actually. And Nick Chubb got hurt. This is the fourth year under Kevin Stefanski, and the offense is retracting. He insists on being offensive coordinator, and his team in general, it just looked terrible. They did not look ready at all. And you can blame the players, but you can also blame the coach. It's time to move on from Kevin Stefanski. I mean, they weren't ready. They didn't have the know-how of who they were playing and how to win. I'm just so disappointed. Thanks. Bye. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, I don't know that they didn't look ready to play. They didn't execute at a high level. The players didn't play at a high level. Deshaun Watson missed missed some throws. I, I was I was disappointed in the way. And, and you know me, I'm I've been a supporter of Deshaun Watson. I was disappointed in the way he played Monday night. Well, look, we've talked about this, and you know everybody. Oh well, Deshaun Watson returned to his 2020 form. He doesn't need to. The thing they got to do on offense is not give the defense two gift wrap touchdowns. You don't give away those two, two, two touchdowns. The Browns win this game 22 to 12. The defense only gave up 12 points on Monday night. Um, you got to be, the problem is, is you can't be reckless with the ball. You, you just can't. And look, Harrison Bryant, look, I don't care. You know, if the route was maybe you saw it differently, you're, you're a professional athlete. The ball hits you in the hands. You catch the football. That's it. End of the story. Um, the second one, you know, the fumble, obviously. I think one issue Deshaun is having, and look, you a, a lot of quarterbacks with his mobility will leave a pocket. And that's okay because you understand, you know, what these guys can do by leaving the pocket. But I think Deshaun's leaving the pocket right now. And he's not necessarily sure what his plan is. Are you leaving the pocket to create a high low where you've got one receiver under coverage, one receiver over coverage, waiting for the D-back to commit either way? Are you leaving the pocket because you want to know what, if I can get out to the right, I've got 10 yards, I can move the sticks. So I think he's leaving the pocket, but he's not exactly sure the reason he's leaving the pocket. And that's something, you know, if that's going to be the case, then stay in the pocket. Um, it's going to be, you know, difficult against teams like Pittsburgh. The Browns always, always have t problems blocking teams that play an odd front, the three, four teams. It's just something with Stefanski's system that doesn't, you know, normally click. They've always had issues with those defenses. But, you know, for Deshaun, no, you've got to tighten it up. I mean, 22 for 40, you know, look, I don't need, you know, and, you know, I'd love for him to throw for 70 percent. Um, but, you know, can we get 65, 63, 64? Um, you know, I, I think I still think he can be there. And look, the expectation was always going to be that this team was going to be heavily relying on the arm of the Sean Watson and maybe less and less on the legs of Nick Chubb. Um, now they're going to be force fed to maybe possibly make it work. But, you know, he absolutely has to play better than he has. So the, the other thing is he still doesn't look – I was hoping he would be more comfortable. He, he still doesn't look like, and I think you said it best, it, he doesn't have a plan. It's not, it isn't second, second nature. You know, it, it looks like he's still struggling to see what he wants to see. When he played in Houston, you just saw a care carefree spirit type of guy playing. Um, and I think that's something, and, you know, can he truly get it back? Who knows? Um, but you want to know what you have enough coaching, you have enough tape, you should know where the open players are. Um, you know, when you get to the line of scrimmage, you should know, okay, well, I've got these four guys running these four routes. Okay, well, that one's not going to work. All right, so I've either got probably A is probably my best option, but if not, I got B, C. And it just seems, yeah, it, it seems like maybe the game is still being played a little quicker than he's ready for. Um, it, that's something, you know, hope, I mean, obviously we hope it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Um, but he's just got to get a little quicker with his thing. You know, we'll look a little quicker with his timing, a little quicker with his release and just finding the open guy and getting rid of it. Don't worry about who the guy is. And that's always been the biggest thing with Coach Stefanski's offense. We saw it last year with Jacoby Brissett. You saw it when Baker was at his best. It doesn't matter if it's Harrison Bryan or Amari Cooper. If they're open, throw them the ball.